Hi guys, it's Ben again here. Just wanted to do a quick little video review here for the Queen Studios life-size Alita bust. So, not too many reviews online currently for her. I think Queen Studios are just shipping her out in, in some batches and there's quite a lot of eager customers that are waiting to receive her in the mail. But when I got her, I've had her for about uh, two months now and she's fantastic. Absolutely think this is one of my, definitely in my uh, in my top five pieces that I've got. And uh, yeah, she's probably pushing up in towards that top three bracket. But Queen Studios just did a, a fabulous job here of her. So I just wanted to give you some some shots here of, of her and uh, let you guys have a have a look because I know that there's been quite a few videos and that from from China and uh, and overseas but from in Australia uh, I certainly don't know too many people that have been able to grab her yet but this is a silicone piece so as I come up a little bit closer here her face obviously is is the hero so we can just see her her eyes are the big standout on this bust absolutely amazing there was quite a lot of conjecture about how to do these eyes and I think it took I took a queen maybe two or three goes to really try and get her right but the final product that I've received here is nothing short of brilliant she's fantastic so really good 3d imaging with the eyes I know a lot of people probably are sort of a bit half-half about whether she should have the wall paint on with the red stripes under the eyes, but for me, it's a, it's a pretty cool part of the movie there, so I think it's quite a, a nice little touch. She's got the rooted hair, which I can't imagine how long this takes companies to actually punch punch this hair in, but it's, uh, it's quite, quite nice when you look at it up close certainly looks like normal regular normal regular hair and uh, the way that they've punched that into the scalp there on the on the silicon is just so good I'll try and get a, a bit better of a close-up for you yeah she's just hard to get there you go so really nicely punched in there so yeah I just have no idea how they how long it takes them to do this but <laughs> it's got to be ages but her face obviously that's why you're buying a statue like this it's just fantastic so I've got her sitting next to another one of my famous sci-fi flicks or in Natiri and as you can see here if I come back a little bit those that know how big Natiri is will know that uh, she's a very big bust and Alita comes up probably four-fifths of her, so she's about 70, 70 centimetres in height. And then a lot of these companies are now producing arms with their characters. So Alita's got the one arm here um, on the right arm where she's got her sword. And the one arm looks good. I'm, I'm happy with one arm. I think I've got quite a few busts that have got one arm or... Some of them are coming out with two arms now, but it certainly adds a lot of volume to the statue. And um, one negative is that it adds a fair bit of price as well. But she's she's uh, certainly got some presence though when you walk into the room. If you could just see her, just without the arm there, she would just like like look like a normal regular bust that you would collect six and ten years ago. But today, with 2020 coming around, busts are coming out with arms all sorts of uh, all sorts of different elements now so she's really good very very happy with her she comes with a nameplate some people like nameplates some people don't but um, I think with this character in particular there's probably going to be quite a few people walk into people's statue rooms and and be a little bit unsure about who she is so that's a, a nice little touch but uh, yeah so just a quick look here I'll come in nice and close again for you Yeah, you can see those eyes. Those eyes are so good. So with the silicon, obviously, 
we just have to try and keep it in a spot where you can't brush up against it or certainly you've got to try and avoid harsh edges and things like that because if you uh i think if you sort of slit make a slit on the silicon i think your statue's in a bit of trouble and these prices for these pieces are just uh they're very expensive so you don't want to be doing anything like that the sword just made out of a bit of a it's like a polystone type material and it certainly adds a bit of depth to her if i just jump up here and we get the back of it here it does add on about a 15 centimeters so those that are, are looking at picking her up make sure that you've got about 15 centimeters behind her so you can display her nicely but yeah a great piece queen of uh really smashed this one out obviously there's not too many companies that have got the license for elita so um yeah they've done a, an amazing job very happy with her and i look forward to seeing some more products that queen can pump out with uh with the elita she's certainly a uh i think an underappreciated character and uh certainly the movie definitely needs a sequel so i hope you enjoyed the video here guys feel free to throw down a comment again this is only like my second or third video so i'm pretty new but um, hope hope you guys liked it and look forward to seeing you again soon.